Okay, we're here today for the highly anticipated Lacey q and A. I'm so excited! <laughs> Okay, so we have a lot of questions to get through, so we need to jump right in. Yes. Are you ready? Um, maybe. Just a little bit. Yes, I'm Let's ready. Let's hope you're ready. <laughs> okay, here we go. This one is from Michaela Renee. Uh, and I'm gonna just, all of these, I'm just gonna read the whole thing, and if there's a bunch of questions, I'll come back and do one. Okay, yeah. All right, so, if you could change anything about the foster care system, what would it be and why? Love you so much. Oh, I love you too. Um. So I would change a lot of things about the foster care system, but I think the most, like the top priority, I think, should be um, foster homes. Because so many kids have to go to group homes and even spend the night in CPS offices just because there's not enough foster homes. So I would want there to be more foster homes and foster parents. Yeah, then siblings could be put together more yeah. readily too. Mm -hmm. So, good one. All right, next one is from Allie Ray. It says, hey Lacey, what is your favorite reaction what was your first reaction when you came to the Wallaces, and how do you feel about having so many siblings? So I was really little, like I was like nine years old, and I had I had just got gotten picked up from school and then brought to a CPS building and then straight to the Wallaces family in one day. Um, so I was really scared and nervous, um, but in the end it all worked out. And my favorite family. She was terrified. I was so scared though. She walked in the house like just so scared. And she had to be like Mason size. She was yeah, little. Yeah, I was really little. So yeah. They were all pretty scared. So Oh, and how do you feel about having so many siblings? I love it. It's amazing. Alright. It is good. Yeah, it's really good. Alright, next one is from JD Vlogs. Uh, do you ever talk to your biological parents? And do you have any more siblings? So, um, I do not have any contact with my biological parents. Unfortunately, um, my dad had made some bad choices and I don't think I would ever be open to talking to him. And my mom w never really wanted to be a mom. So, yeah. But I do have two other half siblings um, and I only met one of them. But they live with their mom, who's not my mom. So yeah, because they're half, so if that makes sense. Okay, moving on. This one is from Mo Frey. Am I saying that right, Mo Frey? Yeah. yeah sure. Okay. Uh, are you closer? There's a lot of questions here. So, uh, are you closer to Lizzie since she's your biological sister? Do you guys get along? And on a more personal note, were you ever really sad about your original situation that caused you to go into foster care? If so, how long did it take you to get over it? Love you. I love you too. Mm -hmm. um, so, how are, are you closer to Lizzie? since she's your biological sister. I think I'm closer to, like, I'm not really close, closer to anybody than anybody else. Like, I think I'm pretty equal with all of my siblings. Um, so, yeah. Do you get along? Um. They get along like on biological a good day. siblings. <laughs> um, so we just, we're just at that like age and she's a year younger than me and she's always been like the little sister that's like, hey Lacey, hey Lacey. And um, we're like the same size, like, and clothes wise and shoe size, so she takes my stuff. It's just like little sibling fights. That's so, yeah. It's all normal stuff. Yeah, There's it's nothing normal out of the ordinary. Okay, next one is from Freya Kemp. If you were still, oh, this one's weird. If you were stuck on a desert island and had to take just five family members, who would you pick? Okay, so my dad, so we would actually survive. <laughs> Um, my mom, so he wouldn't get lonely. <laughs> what? I don't like that answer. <laughs> I'll keep yeah. you alive. <laughs> oh yeah, you keep She's me alive. Like, I don't want to go to the desert. Um, who else? Oh, Harlan, because he's so funny, he'd just make a joke out of everything. And so, even though he'd be stuck in a desert, it'd be like fun because he would be there. Um, Cynthia, because her reaction to like... Would be funny. Would be funny, like dirt everywhere, like in a oh, desert. Yeah, that'd be funny. She'd cry so I think that'd be funny um and then probably like let's throw a little kid in here Kason you're gonna send a little yeah kid. I'm gonna send a little kid Kason because he has like the cutest smile and it, it just brighten up our day gotta keep a positive attitude when <laughs> that would be a very desert. interesting little trip yeah <laughs> hopefully we wouldn't be stuck long. no we have you yeah so we'll survive all right next one uh sorry if I say these wrong 24 Lindsby um, what do you want to do after high school and what college do you want to go to if you plan to go to college and do you and Easton have any future plans? 
Okay. So after high school. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna answer this question that I want to. Sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. So I don't know which college I want to go to yet, but um, I am going to college because I want to be a nurse. Um. Easton and I do have future plans. Um. We'd eventually want to get married and start a family. Stay in St. John's because my family lives here and his family lives here. So. What does he want to do? He wants to be a police officer. Yeah. Nurse and police officer. Yeah. Hopefully it all works out. All right. This one is from Riley20ism. Uh, why did you become a cheerleader? What skills do you like to do in cheer? I love you so much. I love you too. Um, so I didn't want to do cheer at first. I didn't even know I could do cheer. Um, but one of our neighbors, who's now my best friend, um, came over with her mom and was like, you have to do cheer. And I was like, okay. So, um, I don't really remember this, but apparently I didn't want to get out of the car and um, just was had a horrible attitude about it at first. But now it's like my favorite thing. Um, and my favorite like skill to do during cheer is stunting. I love stunting, it's yeah. like my favorite part. Yeah, she was terrified to do cheer. I mean, I remember when we took her down there and she literally, we drove even though it's just a couple houses down the road and, and like, she would not get out of the car. Would I'm not. Scared. She's like, I can't do this. I'm, I'm too uncoordinated. I am so uncoordinated. <laughs> Dancing is not my strong suit. But um, she's doing fantastic, I am, so. But... All right, um, and you already said that. All right, let's move on. This one is from Brianna Bamberger. Are you more of a stay-at-home person or would you like traveling the world? So I think for now, I'm a stay-at-home person because I'm a minor and my parents have going to school. huge, li like, busy lives and they can't take me traveling all the time, 24-7. But I think once like I have my own money and, you know, like I'd never be here, like I'd always be like in the Bahamas. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Get that passport. Yeah. Oh, this one kind of goes with that. If you could travel any, oh, this is from Car Car. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go and with who? So I don't know where I'd travel, but probably somewhere with a beach. And then I'd take all the girls in my family and it'd be like a cute little fun girls trip. Well, you're a boy, so you gotta stay at home. You so don't have to watch the kids. <laughs> mom's, mom's coming Well, let's hope you don't get stranded on I like some that tropical answer. island. <laughs> Take me to the beach, Lacey. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'll do something with the boys. All right, this one is from Laura Tejeda. Uh, what tips will you give someone who's trying out for cheerleading? I want to try out for cheerleading but my, at my school, but I'm scared to try. P.S. You're so pretty. So I was really scared to try too, so I totally understand what you're going through. But um, I'd have to say just be confident. Like, um, doing cheers caught, taught me like how to be confident and to stand out and um, be proud of who I am. So I think you should just be confident and you're gonna mess up. It's not gonna be perfect the first time. Just stick with it. You know, it'll get better. Cheerleading's so much fun. I strongly recommend. You be willing to laugh at yourself? Yeah, oh yeah, be willing to laugh at yourself because you're gonna mess, you're up. Gonna mess My up. Michael Phelps moment. <laughs> yeah, what's that from a couple days ago? That was pretty funny. Okay, this one is from Boca Beatrix. Um, who or what inspires you to be a better person? What is the best and worst part of your personality? And what would your perfect Saturday be like? So, so who inspires you? Who inspires me? So, um, I have a, so one of my fellow cheerleader sisters, my cheer sisters, um, her name is Hannah Wilkinson. And she's like, I don't, like she's the brightest person I've ever met. Like. Like, when I see her in the hallway, my day is made. And she's so nice to everybody. And she always has a smile on her face. And it's just, she inspires me to be a better person because I, I want to be like Hannah Wilkinson. Okay. Um, best and worst part of your personality. So, the best, um... She's fun to be around. That's probably her best. Oh, thank you. She's cool to hang out with. She's fun to be around, I'm, so. I'm pretty hilarious, so. Yeah. Um, but I think my worst part would probably be like patience. I oh, yeah. I have to be on time for everything. I can't be late, even if it's like and I'm the one driver. Minute. <laughs> yeah. So to uh, me, on time is early. So yes. if I'm like if I have an appointment for six, I have to be there six, uh, five fifty. Um, or I'm at late. least like ten minutes. Yes, ten minutes. It. So. And I'll be out there. Normally we're okay on time because I, I I like to be on time too. Yeah. But, when it comes to like picking up Hallie, she's oh. not always the most on time. Hallie. So I'll honk a little bit and then she reaches over and just <laughs> <laughs> I love that. 
I like to be on time. She's trying to rush her. Yeah, I rushed uh, Hallie. Sorry, Hallie. <laughs> um, what would your perfect Saturday be like? Uh, probably just hanging out with my family. You know, spending some quality time. No, beach. Be at the beach. I'll be at the beach, probably. No. <laughs> All right, next one is from Jose G. Um, do you have any embarrassing or wild stories with the crazy middles? Okay, so, fun story. There's a video on our YouTube channel. It's called Lacey Don't Pee. Um, oh, it's called Don't Pee Yourself, I think. Oh, no, I think it's Lacey Don't Pee. I don't know. Either You'll, way. It's like probably one of our most viewed videos ever. Yeah. Um, it's so embarrassing. I was in like seventh grade, but basically I had to pee really bad. And we were in the car. Um, and we drove home and I couldn't get out of the car because I had to pee so bad. I was like, I couldn't get out. It was, it was gonna go everywhere. Like I was about to pee my pants. Pee out tears. I mean, can I tear out my pee? You really have to go to the bathroom that bad? Yes, and I can't move because if I move, it'll come out. <laughs> can you believe this girl? Yes. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Come on, get out of the van. I can't, Mom. Unless you want pee all over the seats, Mom. Did you already pee yourself or you need to go pee? I think I already peed myself a little bit. <laughs> Come on. You might need to carry her. No, because if I can, if he carries me, he's gonna have to put like a like a like a like a like a what is it called? Uh, I can't think. My mind is not okay. <laughs> this, this is, is hilarious. hilarious. <laughs> 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 I guess that car ride that car ride was too long for her. That was yep. I told you not to drink that much soda. Mommy! It's not a Alright, we're all gonna we're leaving pleasure. you out here. Okay, then go! <laughs> <laughs> I'll pee in the bush. Just, I can't. You can't even get out of the car. I can't get out of the car! Um, and so, we told you guys that, um, sorry, we lied just a little bit. We told you guys that I made it to the bathroom, but really, I made it, like, this far she out the car. She made it outside of the car. And I peed in the driveway. It just, it just, whew. And apparently the puddle was huge, so. I didn't even know your bladder was that big. Seriously, I always thought you that peed everywhere. <laughs> I peed Anytime everywhere. Anytime we traveled, if she said she had to go, we had to find a place quick. Because I've I've always had a peeing problem. And I thought she had a small bladder. There was like a gallon of water so much on the ground. Pee. It was a huge puddle. So but, gross, I know, but that's my crazy. I'm surprised wild you're story. willing to share that. I can't story. believe you. Said I don't that. know if that video is up right now. Um, I'll put it up. We'll put it, we'll put it up. up. Okay. So, all right. Um, let's see. This one's from Brianna Bamberger. Um, what is one thing you wish you could have told your younger self? Probably just to like be nice to everybody. Like I've never like bullied anybody, but like um, just like, I don't know, compliment people more. Cause I feel like everyone deserves a compliment. So that's, what I, that's what I would do. Yeah, smile at everybody in the yeah. hallway at school. Cause you never know what anybody's going through, so. True, true. This one is from uh, I'm assuming it's Ma called Maki. Maki. Sorry. Um, Lacey, how tall are you? 5'9". Five 5'9". Five I'm the tallest tall. in the family. Well, the girls. Of the girls. Yeah, I think you are, actually. Yeah. Are you taller than all the boys, too? Um, not, taller than I'm taller. I think I'm taller than Weston. No, I'm, I no, used to be. Not the older boys, anymore. but the boys no, in the house. Yeah, the boys in the house, I am. Okay. All right, this one is from Melissa Rimmer. Reimer. Sorry, terrible with names. All right, Lacey, how did you and Easton meet? And by the way, you're so pretty. Thank you. Um, so we met last year, so my sophomore year, in um, a culinary class. It was actually my class, but he ditched his class to see me for a whole week. So what? I, yeah, dedication right there. I thought your first words to each other in that class were like, not good though. Yeah, well, he had a crush on me. He liked me. So he criticized you or something. Yeah, he said I was doing dishes wrong. <laughs> Probably just because he wanted to like show me and like he touch wanted my to, hands. Oh, that's yeah. what it was. I, I bet. Okay. Yeah. All right, this one is from Lacey Lacey. Oh, nice name. Uh, Lacey, what is your favorite color animal? Who is your favorite person from Crazy Pieces? What is your middle name? Uh, and you are my favorite. My name is Lacey too, but it's spelled differently. Yeah. I like how your name is spelled. But um, so my favorite color is pink because basic girl, you know? 
Um, my favorite animal is Paris, my cat. I love her to death. Um, my favorite person from Crazy Pieces is Hallie. Hallie's like my best friend and she's always been my best friend since I was very little. Um, we'd always have sleepovers. And they so. do cheer together. Yeah, we do cheer together. We um, spend a lot of time together. Yeah, we do. Um, and my middle name is Nicole. So. All right. Next one is from Alex Felskis. Sorry, again. Uh, do you think you and Easton have a strong relationship? How old are you? What do you want to be when you grow up? And what is your favorite movie? So, um, strong relationship. Yes, I think we have a very strong relationship. Um, we do spend a lot of time together and he's like one of my best friends in the whole world. And yeah. And they actually do really well together. I'm yeah. really proud of her. So yeah. she's, they're a very healthy relationship. So um, how old are you? 16. And you already there. We already answered the whole nurse thing. You yeah, so I want to be a nurse when I grow up. What's your favorite movie? Um, probably like Ten Things I Hate About You with Heath Ledger. That's a good one. He's so he was so cute when he was little. Not little, but like teenager. Well, unfortunately, he passed. Well, I know, but you know. Good guy though, good actor. Yeah. All right, next one is from Lindsay Swisher. What is your favorite style of music and artist? So my favorite style of music is kind of weird. My whole family judges me. Um, it's different than it's, everybody. It's different from everybody. It's like alternative indie stuff. And my favorite artist is Rex Orange County. They're a really good band. Would recommend. But, yeah. <laughs> so that's all, right. all of our that's questions. That's all of our questions. But we do have our person for next week. Is Jacob. Jacob. So put your questions below for Jacob. He's going to be in our Q&A next week. All right. Pretty exciting. Yay. That's a lot about Lacey. And some stuff I was just not really aware of. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>